Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Peyton Forbes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Thursday, April 1st, 2021. Let's go to Randy to see what's happened today in history. Thank you, Peyton. Today in history on April 1st, 2004, Google launched Gmail. Created with the intention to better service online emails for all its users, but since it was April Fool's Day, people thought it was a joke. Five years later, number, the number of people using the email service surpassed 1.5 billion users. Gmail has gone for a simple ad targeting experiment to the world's dominant email service. Way to rock communication! Now let's go to Scott for the sports highlights. Thank you, Randy. Today's sports highlights are brought to you by the Patriots. Another extreme sport is abseiling, which is basically the opposite of rock climbing. Sometimes referred to as rappelling in Europe, this is basically the process of sliding down a rope in a controlled manner to descend a steep slope or cliff face. This sport involves complex gear, specific training and skill, and should only be done by experienced climbers. Abseiling started out by climbers using the technique for safety purposes to descend a hill, but over the years evolved into an extreme sport for climbers just doing it for the thrill of the experience. Now let's go to Onalicia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is mini corn dogs, diced carrots, baked beans, fresh pear, mustard, ketchup, and milk. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Onalicia. Kindergarten, first, and second grade patriots. Today is the renaissance at Pine's Easter egg hunt. It's officially time for the hunt. So let's hop to it. Let's hope these Easter eggs are all they're cracked up to be. Don't worry, be hoppy. I have so many Easter puns, it's not even bunny. Also scholars, FSA is almost here. Our first FSA starts next week. Make sure you get rest and a good breakfast so you can be at your best. Here are the upcoming FSA testing dates in April. And finally, Patriots, there is no school tomorrow, April 2nd, due to Good Friday holiday. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with David. Thank you, Peyton. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 85 degrees Fahrenheit and scattered thunderstorms. Anyone who says sunshine brings happiness has never danced in the rain before. Now let's go to Samuel for the joke of the day. Thank you, David. And here's today's joke of the day. What is the most expensive kind of fish? A goldfish. Now let's go and sing it for today's birthday. Thanks, Samuel. That was really funny. Today's birthday boys and girls are Kaden Inman, Christopher Fuentes, Javier Tabaras, and Leo Persaud. Happy birthday! Let's get back to Pan. Thank you, Sonia. And now for our special segment, let's talk with our host Yastani. Thank you, Pan. My name is Osdan Lorenzo, and this is Let's Talk. Today we have with us 7th grade teacher, Ms. Palatori. Hi, Yostani. Hi, Ms. Palatori. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So, what does your role at the school include? I am the 7th grade science teacher, and I also teach uh, the 7th grade advanced class, 8th grade science. What do you think makes you stand out as a teacher? Um, I don't know. I know my students really enjoy my class pets. And uh, some of them were telling me today I was funny because I was asking them. <laughs> what do you feel proudest of as a seventh grade teacher? Um, I really enjoy when my students participate in the labs that we do in science and I can see them learning through the hands-on uh, experience. Mm -hmm. What is something you're looking forward to this year? Um, being able to travel more since I wasn't able to do that last year. Uh -huh. Do you have any hidden talents or interesting hobbies? I'm a ninja. What do you mean ninja? So I'm a black belt in karate and I will be testing for my black belt in kung fu in a month. 
Interesting. <laughs> I see you brought someone special with you. Would you mind sharing some details with our scholars? I did. This is um, Pickle. Um, Layla. Layla, I think, named him Pickle since I didn't really have a name for him. So this is our, ooh, our class pet. He's a leopard gecko and very squirmy right now. And the kids really love to um, take him out of the tank and feed him. And to feed him, they have to feed him live worms. So they actually pick the worms up and put them into the tank. Um, but he gets a little antsy if he gets cold because he's, since he's a reptile, he's a cold blooded animal. But the kids love to hold him and let him climb on them and crawl on him like he's doing to me right now. Thank you. And now for our lighting round question. What is the one thing you always have have wanted to do? Go to Hawaii. If you could trade lives with anyone for a day, who would it be? Beyonce. Who is your favorite cartoon character? The Ninja Turtles. <laughs> what is the strangest thing you've ever eaten? Chicken hearts. Texting or talking? Talking. What is your current what is your ah what is your current favorite song? Um, I don't know, I like a lot of songs, but um I really like Blink 182, so but it's an old song, so um all the small things. Thank you, Miss Pollatory, for taking the time to sit down with us today. We truly appreciate you and all you do. Thank you. Scholars, be sure to say hello to Miss Pollatory when you see her in the hallways. Now, back to Peyton. Thank you, Yostani. Teachers, please continue uploading any interesting photos or videos into the News Around the School OneDrive folder so we can highlight all of the awesome activities going on around our school and in your classrooms. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, do the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Newton, Ms. Aymden Kwa, Ms. Silvera, Ms. Santisteban, Ms. Torres, Ms. Ward, Ms. Calabrese, Ms. Hendrickson, Ms. Moraz, Ms. Manon, Ms. Yearwood, Ms. Samuel, and Ms. Santori. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was, which three letters can frighten away a thief? The correct answer to the riddle was, I see you. Now for today's riddle. A man pushes his car to a hotel and te tells the owner he's bankrupt. Why? Again. A man pushes his car to a hotel and tells the owner he's bankrupt. Why? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a thankful Thursday. And don't forget, remember, reunite, rise. Have a great day.